there is a genuine zombie plague going on. From TV and movies to games and apps, zombies have become part of the fabric of everyday life. Zombies in space, zombies in London, zombies in silly costumes, and of course, zombies on holiday. That's the premise of Dead Island Riptide, or at least, that's what we think it is. After all, these zombies seem to be wearing bikinis, chilling out on beaches, taking in the sun and just generally relaxing. Well, they are until you come at them with a baseball bat, but we're not going to show you that. After all, as a gamer, you've seen more than your fair share of zombie slaying, mutilation and abuse, not least in the original Dead Island. A flawed game that failed to deliver on the promise of an open-world zombie survival RPG, many gamers found themselves disappointed by its flat combat and simple missions. Dead Island Riptide, its sequel in everything but number, aims to correct this balance, and predictably, it comes out swinging. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoit. I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. And swinging is something you'll be doing a lot of as you try to carve your way through the hordes of the undead. Riptide picks up exactly where the original left off, with the survivors managing to make it off the island of Banoi. Minutes later, after the ship runs aground in a storm, they are back on an undead holiday destination, this time the swampy island of Palanai. It may not seem like much of a change at first, but you'll quickly discover that this new location easily trumps its predecessor. Where? Where am I? But it's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection, some sort of plague. Again? It's all thanks to Palanai being a much wilder island, cut across with waterways and choked with dense jungle. It is much more mysterious and evocative than the resort towns of Banoi and their stale quests. Add in a dynamic weather system that has rain and fog occasionally covering the island and reducing your vision, and you have an island that feels far more inviting for the have -a go explorer and zombie hunter alike, especially with its general sprinkling of cars and boats that help you zip from place to place. But while Palanai may feel fresher, the rest of Riptide feels worryingly familiar. For those who are frustrated by Dead Island's shonky combat with its inconsistent hit detection and inaccurate swings, it has once more risen from the dead. With melee combat making up the bulk of the gameplay, Riptide can often feel like a slog, whether you're struggling with a horde of monsters or simply trying to bring down one big one. You'll quickly discover the game's quirks, whether it's the jumping slam attacks that can be activated when you're only a few steps above the undead, or the fact that you can never hit a zombie when stood above them, but you can hit them from below. With few tactics open to you, you'll also learn to use and abuse these quirks, resulting in some glitchy battles. You're not telling me anything I don't know. I thought we were goners. Of course, there's still some satisfaction to be had in bringing your increasingly gruesome armory to these fights, but it's one that inevitably wears thin. Elsewhere, Riptide's improvements can be felt more strongly in online co-op, where streamlining the process of getting players to join and making disconnects less punishing encourages cooperation. Equally, the game's safe spots see more features this time round, with base defences, supply trips and survivor gathering all there for those wanting to extract every last bit of content from the game. But it's hard to see anyone but the most fanatical and worryingly bloodthirsty gamer wanting to drag out Riptide for as long as possible. It's certainly a step forward in the series, but with the combat still remaining broken, the improvements from the original Dead Island slowly fade as the hours mount up. And as they do, you'll start to get the troubling feeling that you may be the monster in this particular horror, stalking the beautiful beaches and lush jungles of this island, ready to visit bloody death to its inhabitants with a sharpened spade. After all, if Riptide has taught us anything, it's that after conquering every aspect of modern media, zombies may well be in need of a day off. <laughs>